Zayvon Collins is joining us live from our broadcast booth up here at Cardinals Training Camp. And it is funny. I really did not expect that we were going to have this country music conversation again. But we just did it during the commercial break with Zayvon because he was talking about being here. We had Trey McBride yeah. on earlier, and he was talking about being at the Morgan Wallen concert. Yep. At the same one yeah, you we were at. to each other at the concert. And yep. Zayvon, you were just telling us you were here for the George Strait Chris Stapleton concert. Yep. And, and then, now that's one. Nothing against Morgan Wallen. That's one I would have loved to have been at. Chris Stapleton's awesome. Yeah, it was uh, it was unreal. That's kind of people always ask me all the time, like, what would I rather do? Do I go to you know Europe in the off season? I kind of like right now with my life, I want to go see people rather than things. Yeah. I just feel like Europe will always be there. You know, all these other places, Australia will always be there. So it's like the people that are performing or doing things. I feel like I've got to watch Tiger Woods, listen to you know what I mean. Um, um, like I said, George Strait, George Strait Chris, Chris Stapleton. Stapleton. Yeah. yeah, I saw a Conor McGregor fight. So it's like seeing all these people. So that's, that's like yeah. your bucket list now, yeah. right? Yeah, so yeah, I've done yeah. that. That's so cool. I've saw, I've, I've, well, I've, I've watched all these people, you know what I mean? So it's nice. So you could do both. So we we saw Elton John last year here. I took my wife to go see Elton John. But we were just in Europe. We did Italy, Ireland, and Switzerland. Yeah. And Elton John was like finishing up his tour. We, but we missed him by like two days in Switzerland. We're like, man, if he's here, we're going to go. Like, let's just go see him again. If yeah. he, but we missed it by like two days. Yep. So. What what was the first concert you ever went to? Um, I shoot, I don't even remember. It probably had to be with like, um, you know what I mean, like a Bible study group and going to something like that. <laughs> okay. Small right. town Christian Oklahoma. rock group or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, what's counts. your favorite type? It's of music? changed definitely since I've went to college for sure. But like, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. But um, country music, I'd go to like, you know, as soon as football season's over within the off season, I go to at least three or four. Who's your favorite artist? Uh, Turnpike Troubadours. They just got back together. Okay. Like, yeah, my actually like first concert that me and my friends and group went to in college um, was that in a nearby state, Stillwater, where OSU is. We went to Tulsa, so we drove down there. That group had, like, broken up, and then we no, come back. Passed. And then, right before I get drafted here, we saw them all together, or right after I got drafted. So we watched all those guys again. So we were like, oh, my gosh, this is, like, going back in time. You like so any nice. of the typical stuff, like the Cole Swindell, Luke Combs? Yeah, I like any that Any of the current stuff, sure. stuff that's playing right yeah, now? Yeah, I do like that, and I like going to those. But they, they playing any of that music out yeah, here? Are like, you guys are playing? Any country when you're uh, playing? No, they don't like the country music. They don't let me have the aux cord in the locker room, too, <laughs> because of that. Uh, really? Yeah, I get I get bad looks because of that. They, they, wait, wait a second. I saw Hollywood at the at the Morgan Wallen concert. Yeah, they they went to that. I was okay. I was like, you guys do not listen to country, but some of them do. Some of them. Don't. <laughs> I think Hollywood friends think, with them. I think they left halfway through the George Strait Chris, Chris Stapleton. Okay, so I was kind of uh, mad about that, but they did they did go. So I'm so happy. you have no say in what gets played in the locker no room say. or out here. No say. Maybe in a couple of years. Maybe didn't did you. Go ahead. I was just, didn't Stapleton play, was it the national anthem before the Super Bowl yeah, or America the it, Beautiful? Killed he it. Killed it. Yep, he killed it. He killed it. Guys had like tears streaming down their face. Oh, yeah. He performed that so well. Yeah. In fact, Zavin was doing, I, I swear we'll get off the music thing in just a second. We were talking about Billy Joel and Stevie Nicks coming. Yeah. And Zavin's like, Stevie Nicks, name the group. And he's looking at all of our old, young people here. He's an old soul. Yeah, he's like, name the group, he's name the group. Old, and nobody old. could. He's like, oh, come on, man. Y'all let me down. It's Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood nobody Mac. Yeah. And he's the same age as some of these younger people. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know, and they He's don't. He's an old soul. That's what I say. Old, old soul. Yeah. Old soul. Grew up in a small town, so yeah. Let's let's get into this 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 new position for you. The the rushing of the passer, the ability mm -hmm. to you know create some pressures and sacks and. Um, it's it's not you know if you look at your career you had some sacks at Tulsa I think one year you had four two and a half so mm -hmm. it's not like you've never sacked the quarterback before mm -hmm. what's the biggest difference in the position change for you yeah I think it's mostly just being on the ball every play really not taking on the run part of the defense it's more of the pass you know transitioning to rushing the cue on you know third down um, every time I was doing that last year most of, I would say 85 90 percent of the time I was doing that from a stack linebacker position if I was right. blitzing pressuring right. anything like that sometimes you know we'd do some interior stuff you know try and mix the numbers in the box trying to you know confuse O-line and confuse their count you know that's kind of getting into it but um, so that's the difference I would say rushing from being truly on the line of scrimmage and rushing from an edge position rather than you know having a game go on in front of you as a linebacker and then beating a, a guard or a center and then coming for towards the quarterback. I've seen plenty of guys that were on the line of scrimmage and had to drop into coverage and weren't able to yeah. handle it. You know, Chandler always struggled with that. Other guys struggled, you know, with the, you know, having to cover a running back or mm -hmm. cover a tight end. Your strength is sideline to sideline speed. Yeah. So I would imagine just the different looks you could give, whether you're coming or you're going to go cover somebody, mm -hmm. that could really help you, I think. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I was in my class here, so I'd 
I mean, I was dropping anytime it was third down. If we weren't pressuring, if I wasn't going, I was dropping into coverage where there was like a fire but zone. But you were zone, able to cover guys. Drop. Yeah, we was playing man on Christian McCaffrey, playing man on right. Alan Kamara. I mean, Josh Jacobs playing man yeah, on all those guys. Not easy. Yeah, no, it's not. But you were <laughs> but, able to stay with those yeah, guys. Yeah, so you just, you know, pick a side, stick to your leverage, and then just do that, stare at the hip. You know, that's it's just or, working or on those not, small just things. <laughs> yeah, there's a few <laughs> times. don't get caught. Yeah, there's a few times where you got to, you know, grab yeah. onto them. Because those guys are fast, and they're really, you know, they get very crafty with their routes, routes concepts they'll try and isolate you but if you prove you know on tape that you to those offensive coordinators of other defenses like hey this guy's on his stuff they probably won't pick on you so much but if you keep getting you know beat across your face yeah, they're gonna try they and come after you they're, they're looking for you know what we call a fish for david sure. collins our guest here on the burns and gambo show so they come to you and they say we've got this new idea for you this yeah. new what's initially in your mind your very first reaction was it cool was it i got a lot to learn what what immediately starts going through zavin's brain when they say we've got a new idea for how we want you to play football yeah it wasn't too much about like i you know obviously coming into even if i were to play mike or you know will whatever it is um Learning the defense is learning the defense. You know, I try and take it upon myself to learn multiple positions, mm-hmm. whether it's stack or on the ball. You know, um, but uh, first I was like, well, let me see how it's going to be worked out. You know, let's see how this is going to work. Are we just going to be straight four down? I'm just, you know, setting edges the whole thing, the whole time, or what am I doing? And it's kind of, it's it's kind of mix and match. You know what I mean? I can be doing a lot of things without revealing our secrets. You know what I mean? I can do a lot of things within this defense. So I like that when they, you know, propose it to me. So I was like, yeah, whatever we can do to, you know, make the team better. How difficult is it when you're rushing and you think the quarterback has the ball and the running back's coming around on the outside and you've got to go catch it? Is that something that is – Yeah, Is that know. more of a – just getting that experience down. And- yeah, that's most of, yeah, that's time on, you know, time on task for sure. You know, feeling, feeling how those O linemen are sitting, you know, cause you're four yards back. You can see kind of everything unfold. You know, you can right. see the running back on the line. You know, you when can. I'm on the line, I'm looking through my, you know, through my um, block, which is a, you know, he could be run setting, but it could be like a RPO. So then all of a sudden, man, I'm engaged. Oh, I'm getting out of there because I got to yeah. go drop. You got the run um, pass option. Yep. Yeah. So that's the that's the things I'm still working on because I'm everything's faster at the line of scrimmage. You know, being four yards off, five yards off. No time. You have you know time half, half a second more sure. time to react. There you got to figure out what that O lineman's giving you and get your read off of that. So if he's giving you a pass set, if he's giving you, a, you know what I mean, quick set. Straight drop back, whatever it is. Do you think at all about the fifth year option next year, or do you just figure it takes care of itself if you uh, play well? Yeah, that's. I mean, yeah, you can ask. You go and ask your agent. It will play well, and then you don't have to worry about it. Right, <laughs> that's what it is. Right. <laughs> yeah. So what? Do, what do I need to do? Is play well. It's like the same thing, you know, for everyone in every position. You play well, then you know what I mean. Is it, but is playing well at that position? We judge so much of that based mm-hmm. on. Not just sacks, but how many times can you pressure the quarterback? How many times yeah. can you hurry the quarterback? For you, is it is, is it is it just stat based, or it, because I I envision you dropping into coverage a lot too. So is it just stat oriented, or is it just an overall game that you concentrate? Yeah, on? Yeah, I think it's production oriented. Obviously, if you have those big plays, your production is you know higher. So it's like you like know, the interception last year. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then obviously last year, I mean like had interception versus Seahawks, right? But then, you know, go against the Chargers, had an interception. When I came off the ground, they counted as a drop ball. Then I had it against the Patriots, and then they said that was a drop ball. Both of those were two game ending that they had returned. Right. I caught it on my shoulder pad, fell backwards the ball. They said barely nicked the ground. Uh, so it's like the, both of those yeah. were game ending drives. We were up in that point in time of the game. So it was like, or yeah. we would have gave the offense in, you know, our ter- like, you know, their territory. We're about to go score. Right. At least three points from those. You know what I mean? So, like, those are the things. Game changing how I think you know playing well is not just also doing your job playing at an elite level is changing the game having a you know what I mean like you're an impactful player when it comes to the outscore and outcome of the game I know you've only been out here a week do you feel like this transition and where are you 100% 100% complete, 80%, 70%. I mean, like, can you put a numerical value on how far along you think you are in making this transition? Uh, no, I really can't put a numerical value on it, but I would say uh, I'm still working on, like, you know, the small details of, like, um, we call it, like, the philosophy of pass rushing, you know what I mean, and doing 
things within my framework and what they feel acceptable and like you know having the right technique down um working on that every day really yeah, is yeah. the thing and just getting that down and once i have that down then i feel like i can start opening up to things and i've you know there's days where i'm like hey you're doing this right this right this right this move's working you know you're making the right we read when off like offensive tackles are doing things and then someday it's like yeah you're completely wrong well, who do you lean on jj's gone marcus is gone yeah who do you lean on because uh, there's not a total whole lot of experience out there for you to lean on yeah so really um we're really doing well i think is working as a unit and you know like hey we're not trying to leave anyone out to dry when it comes to you know creating games or anything but also uh i think our coach rob is really good rob rodriguez he's really good so um he uh he has those you know principles of pass rush that i was talking about and like he comes and he's like you can do your own thing just stay within our philosophy and it's the same thing with the defense you know you're able to do your own thing just stay within the framework of the defense so it's not so it's not so white and black there's a little gray area for us to work in you yeah. know what i mean all right so we want you to prepare a musical quiz for our young crew over here you know so they can uh -huh. you can grade them on who would you I love will. to see who would you love to see that you've never seen before uh stevie nicks for sure some okay. of those old i don't even know if some of these bands i'd like to like that even play anymore i think you I mean, two still playing yeah, they are. I'm not, I, saw I, that I, don't, I wouldn't say I was a big U2 fan, but, okay. um, you know, some of those classic rock, you know what I mean? I would If oh, I could go yeah. back in time and watch some of those, those would yeah. be unreal. If I could go back and Led Zeppelin. Yeah. I, I would yeah, see a Led Zeppelin Zepp Zepp in, in a, 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 a New York to minute. Yeah, I, would I mean, see it's, Led a Zepp a Zepp it's a stereotypical song, but Stairway to Heaven was playing today before practice, and I was kind of happy about that. That's great. You are an old soul. Zayvon, we appreciate you coming by. We wish you the best of luck this year, all right?